Hello, this is Wampire. Just want to talk about uh, AGT 2013, America's Got Talent. Uh, just finished it yesterday, and uh, boy, what what a what an awesome season! Uh, the judges kept saying that it was the best season ever. I disagree with that. Uh, I could remember some previous seasons where there were some awesome competitors, like this dude who was like he was just like a, a country guy and uh he was had this one skill where he was really really good with uh with a bicycle he with doing bicycle tricks and i remember uh he did some amazing stuff with a with a bicycle he put his body at risk he even got injured during the during the show and uh he went did like incredible platform jumping and stuff with with his bike um, you know, people like that. So there, there's been some amazing stuff before. So I, I just can't say that this is the best season ever, period. I, I do think that maybe they should have a uh, best of the best type show where previous top, you know, top 10 people uh, from each year compete against each other. You know, something like that would be, would be killer. But uh, anyway, uh this this season's finalists, uh, I I didn't agree necessarily with with uh, with the choices, but there were still some very talented people, and uh, so you know I, I I don't mind necessarily. Um, the guy that I was rooting for from the very beginning ended up winning, which was Kenichi Ebina, and uh, I'm I'm glad that he did because you know I really liked his act and real quick you know let me say that I wasn't rooting for him because he was Japanese all right um, I hate that kind of thinking all right this kind of like national pride type thing um, you know where where you're gonna say something like you know he's Japanese I'm Japanese he won you know it's like so what that doesn't mean just because he's Japanese and I'm Japanese doesn't mean he he won because I had anything to do with any you know or that's gonna rub off on me or anything like that it it doesn't it's silly and I I don't like that way of thinking it's I don't like it when um you know people say stuff like you know this this knife is made in the USA you know stuff like that because you know at the very least it makes you feel left out so instead of saying stuff like that, which to me is kind of inconsiderate, I like to say, you know, on my videos at the very end, I put, you know, please support your local independent artists and crafters and stuff like that. You know, um, I don't think it's wrong to have some national pride, and that's not what I'm against, but I am against like rubbing it into people's faces because to me that just leads into, you know, basically saying my country is better than yours. And ultimately, that leads to like war, you know, in a more extreme, uh, you know, path uh, point of view. So, you know, I'm that. That's all I'm saying. So, anyway, the reason why I like Kenichi Ebina's act so much was because out of all the acts that you saw, it, it's something that I feel like I could relate to the most, and it's the coolest thing. Just because um, it's martial arts. Uh, it's also dance, which um, I do like watching shows like So You Think You Can Dance. So it's cool to see that combined together and then combine it with video games. Another thing that I really, really like. So combine dance, martial arts, and video games. Each one of those, is, you know, like the TV screen and stuff is not necessarily unique. But when you put them all together into that one package and make it a one-man show, then it is unique. And for some reason... Um, normally if I saw somebody do this where the guy is fighting on a video screen or something and, and the person that he's fighting is himself, you know, I would kind of think like, why is it himself? Oh, it's because he couldn't afford someone else or he wasn't able to get someone so he had to just do it himself. Um, if he had a bigger budget or if he had more resources, he would use somebody, but he can't. But with this guy... He doesn't make you think that way at all. He makes you go, wow, that's also him? That's talented. Wow, he's so skilled. It makes it makes you think that way, which I don't know how he does it, but that's pretty amazing. Um, believe me, I thought about entering AGT, and uh, uh, he is the reason why I won't, because uh, one of the things that's so amazing about this guy is if you look him up on YouTube, you'll see his 
past acts and stuff that he's done outside AGT, like he's done conventions all over the world and stuff like that, you'll see that this guy is actually a seasoned professional entertainer who already has skits, multiple skits already down and done. So this guy is a pro. He's been honing his craft for years and years and years, and it's not just the dancing, it's not just the martial arts, but this thing that he does, what you see on AGT, he's already done that. These are what you're seeing on AGT. He's just modified it here and there, changed things up. But basically, he's already done all of that. All the blueprint of that has been already done. He's a pro, you know. Uh, the only problem is what he does before AGT. I don't think there was a venue for him. I don't think there was uh, a way that he could re necessarily make the make what he does into a, a stable source of income where he could support and feed his family. So I'm glad that he won because now he does. Because in, And then hopefully that will open doors for other people that go, oh, I could do that too, you know. Um, and, and because it is a really cool thing to mix dance with, you know, martial arts and then make it look like a video game using the TV screen and stuff like that. I think that's, that's uh, it's really cool. I, I think it would be an awesome uh, Vegas act. And um, if you haven't seen his AGT acts, all right, the first two, in my opinion, are by far the best. The last two were actually so disappointing that I was actually worried that he wasn't going to win. I was like, Cami and Forte, they're going to win. Forget him. He's, he's lost it. But I guess America was very forgiving. And maybe, um, you know, the, probably the second act just won him over, you know, to where people were like, dude, this guy... You know, he, he has something special, you know, even though the last two, in my opinion, were pretty weak, especially compared to some of the other stuff that he's done on YouTube. Um, he has done a Michael Jackson tribute, and he has done um, a ninja one where basically a village gets wiped out. He survives, and he trains uh, in, in ninjutsu, or in a weird style of ninjutsu, a breakdancing ninjutsu, and then uh, wants to get... Um, revenge basically and infiltrates the castle and everything so if you watch those two i mean to me they blow away the last two skits that he did the first one he did on agt won me over he wore like a fist of the north style uh north star style outfit which is one of my favorite animes growing up and uh he just won me over there i was like oh man i want this guy to win i can't imagine what's next and then he does the video game one that's the second one and the second act just blew me away this is you know standing ovation right there um the like i said the last two disappointing he like goes to heaven on one of them and then the other one is uh he's dancing with with a bunch of different versions of himself and like i said i i felt that those performances were weak but thankfully he still won uh yeah so this guy definitely a seasoned pro now he has a way to to have a full-time job a very successful career, you know, and, and do what he does best. So uh, I, I'm very happy for the guy. And uh, anyway, this, this, is, this is why I won't enter because what I do is, is just martial arts and it's not a package to, ready to, to entertain people. You know what I mean? I teach on YouTube and it's not like put together. What am I going to do? Go on AGT and teach you know, people, uh, a screamer or something like that, that's that's not entertaining. So I would have to change all that and make it entertaining. And that's not something that I've been doing for years and years and years. So I'm going to be competing against guys that have been doing stuff for years and years and years and honing their craft, you know. So th there's just way too much stuff that I would have to come up with and modify and work on. And I don't know if I have enough time to evolve myself to where it would be a high enough level. So that's definitely uh, the reason why I, I'm not entering uh, AGT anytime soon. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if you haven't seen his stuff, they're, on, they're up on YouTube. They're awesome stuff. Highly recommended. Thank you for watching and take care, folks.